Okay guys, what's up? This is for the people who wanted to know how to add um, the the spline effects to a motion tracking, a motion um, tracking um, video. Okay, I already have my motion track right here in um, Cinema 4D. You see how the, um, everything is tracked. Um, you don't know how to do this, I already made a tutorial on this. And I'll put the link below. Um, below in the description and see it's really tracked very nice and um and I'll put the link in the description for you so you'll know how to um motion track and get to this okay alright first you want to do is um add everything you need so I'm um, add my floor this is this is for advanced so if you don't know how to do this it's okay because this is mostly for the advanced you want to put the floor I mean put the material on the floor change it to frontal right click floor cinema 4d tags compositing uncheck self uh, self shadowing and check composite background so everything is nice okay now you wanna click make it make everything red okay so now we just got this right here so from here you just wanna do the same thing as we did in the other tutorial um I'm in the before so you want to just add your text it's right here and as you see the text is um it's going around like this make your name mine's gonna be tricks and change the font mine's gonna be ash um I don't know if I want it that big but let me see how it looks let me see yeah, it's a little too big. Okay. I'm gonna make it smaller. Go to object, height. Make it yeah, about this big. And uh, I want it to be facing this way. So when it comes around, I want tricks to be right here. So it's gonna come down and the trick is gonna be right here. Alright, so before we do all that, um, I'm just do the regular. Um, so you're going to just do the same thing as the other one. Go to B spline, click it once. And I want it here. Click it again and change it to about right here. Click the middle and I'm going to bring it down. And not too far, but right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to extrude, put the spline to the extrude, click it, and I'm gonna change this so it could be going up like so, and a little higher. Okay, and then no, a little lower. Okay, and I'm gonna push this okay up like that, and Remember, take it off the extrude and delete it. So now we got the spline, everything's in place with the um the motion track. And you wanna go to um this again, sweep nerve. Remember, add the spline and then the text. So this is how the motion track looks now. Look like that. But we don't want it like that. So we go to the sweep, uncheck banking. And this is what we got. Okay. Um, you want to start growth. It's going to be like that. So you want to edit the rotation. And um, how about one mine's coming out? Yeah, I'll have mine's coming out like that. Um, okay. So, and now you just want to edit this. Okay. Take this and you want to watch yours coming out like that so you just you don't need to worry about the floor right now because okay. you don't want to worry about the floor because everything's already set the floor and everything so you just need to worry about putting it where you want it and how you want it to look okay change this 
this down. And you can actually make this smaller. The sweep, um, go to Star Grove. And this, you can edit it like that. Push it up, push it down. So everything is under the floor. The background. So when you edit it, it comes up like this. So how that look, it look real good. So from here you want to turn it. Because you want it to be facing you. So we're going to be like... Okay. Um, let me edit this a little more. And to be good... Make sure it's under the floor. Okay. Okay, looks good. So this is what we got now. It's turning. We want it right there. So now, you want to motion track everything. Go to sweep. Change it um, to 100. So when you render it out, it's just nothing. When you're coming out, I'm going to change it to 400. And change it to 0. So it's coming out the floor. Like that. Okay? Coming out the floor. Real good. Okay, take that off. Now what you want to do is add your light. Okay, put it towards the end. And we're going to add a light. Towards light. Here. Make sure the tricks is showing. And shadow. Shadow map soft. So when you go here, you have a shadow. And when you come here, everything is set. So let's move this a little. Gonna make it smaller. Okay. Make everything one. Okay, and you could just customize the sweep on how you want it. Make mines not too far, but like right here. Oh yeah, delete that. I'm just gonna I'm just changing the sweep to twenty. From here you just pull it all the way to hundred. Alright, so we got the sweep and everything coming out the floor. Let's see how that looks. Looks good. So from here you wanna add the material. But first I'm gonna change my text. Go to caps. Fill eight caps. Change that to. And um, now it should look a little bit better. Okay, from there, now you want to add your. I'm going to use this because it looks like D dust. Or that. Let me see which one looks better first. I'm going to use this one. See how it looks? Oh, it looks good because it looks like it's coming out the floor. And. And I'm going to use. Change this to front. I mean, change the text to flat. See how it looks now. Okay. Um, let me see how this one looks now. No, I'll use the first one. Okay, this is how it looks. Look like it came out the ground in here. Okay, let me just edit the reflection a little. Okay. 
I good and let me edit this back here. Okay. All right, better. So that's what we have now. We have the things coming out the floor. Let me make sure the background is checked. No, it's checked. So we have it coming out the floor. Going in here and coming out like so. And it's real good. I like it a lot. And I'm going to show you the previews after I've finished. I'm going to just change the bottom of the, the scale bigger. And that's basically it. That's how you motion track the text with the um with your video all right from here that's how you go to your render settings i saved mine is the presets already made and when you go to output in film video mine is um 1080p so i changed mine to that is 1920 by 1080 resolution 72 film expert ratio 29 everything then i go to all frames then I'll go to save. I save it as AVI options. Compressor full frames uncompressed. Because after I finish this, I'm gonna put it into the, uh, the tutorial and I'm gonna add the colors. And then I'm gonna rename it on my desktop tutorial finish. And this is how you make you uncheck blurriness. If you your computer slow, you want to Take the rate depth, change it to six, reflection three, and rate um, shadow depth to um, six again, and that'll make your render a lot faster. But for me, I use max settings because my computer could take it. So after that's done, make sure you're on general, make sure it's on full render, and from there you just render it out. So um, as soon as this finished rendering, I'll get back to you, and I'll see you in one second. Good evening and welcome to another big edition of Rider Radio here on Radio 1. Hosted by yours truly. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I want to thank you for watching my tutorial. Like it, subscribe, and you can leave me a comment on my channel. Um, yeah, you can leave a comment on my channel. I'm put part two right here. And um, like, I love the new YouTube channel. It's real professional, and I really like it. And um, we just leave a comment in the box on things you want a tutorial on I gotta find where in the world the comments are gonna be I think it's on feed uh, well I'll try to find your comments somewhere so I'll see you there and then thanks for watching my tutorial and remember to uh, press the subscribe button on the video and you could message me you know, anything you need anything you want one already asked me how to make a transparency on a text or something so I'm gonna get get to you on that on how to make a text transparency like fade in and out so thanks for watching all my videos and I guess I'll see you later peace